an absolute menace to society or at least to the man Fennel. This dude cannot catch a break and I don't know what the heck he was thinking here in episode 4. I'm not saying he deserves what he got by any means but I mean like you mess around and you find out let's just say that. So, so in episode 4 we get a new character named Glenn who is friends with Fennel although their uh, friendship is quite funny as they're quick to backstab each other. So Glenn's job if I'm remembering correctly is to make really nice furniture. He actually brought one over to Fennel that he requested I believe. Man's freaking work is incredible as stated by Fennel. It seems like Fennel actually really needed it quickly for whatever reason and Glenn got it done for him. Fennel was pretty appreciative and even said alright man you did this for me. I paid you but I got you with one solid. Glenn uh, absolutely taking him up on that offer. He's like I just want one thing. I want a cute girlfriend. <laughs> Fennel was like bro I got you. There's some paper mache in the cabinet for you. I'm thinking what the heck? I can't provide you a cute girlfriend. <laughs> he was not giving up. He's like dude hook me up with a cute elf girl. You know you probably know some people and I don't believe Fennel actually talks to a lot of women. I'm not saying like that in a really negative way but he's after Alyssa to begin with so he's probably not really interested in anyone else. Could be wrong. Maybe he's risen up a bunch of other girls. Glenn was like dude nah nah nah. I, I'll take anything at this point. It doesn't have to be an elf girl just somebody that fits the freaking bill man. Just hook me up bro. Hook me up. Fennel I don't know why the heck he got this idea. I guess to help the man out because he helped him out. This is also another reason why I think he doesn't really know a lot of women because he did hook his boy Glenn up with a girl and that girl was Viola. And I mean, if you've been watching this series, you already know that Viola really has no interest in having a boyfriend whatsoever and is really only in love with her mama. Now, I don't really know if it's completely romantically, but she is an absolute mama's girl. She doesn't even like Fennel talking to her mama. So I was honestly a little bit surprised that Viola even accepted helping Fennel out. Although, how she reacted to this, I'm guessing Fennel didn't tell her the whole story of what's going on. Because she's just straight up attacked this man. Gave him a good old flying witch kick and he just went flying a little bit. Yeah, she's uh, not very happy, man. She's not very happy. Pulling him by his ears. Explain why you called me out to introduce me to a man of all things. She uh, she was not cool with it whatsoever. Started begging her saying, bro, you are the only one I could actually ask. Please, for the love of God, do me this favor. And he even said, you don't even really have to talk to this guy too much. Just maybe tell him to get lost, smack him in the face and spit on the man. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that's even worse. Like, what the hell do you take me for? Viola's like, well, he doesn't really seem like a bad guy. So I think she really only hates Fennel, and that's because of the way he treated her when she was a kid. Not that he really did anything messed up to her, but he did say, think of me as your father, as your daddy, and she was not cool with that whatsoever. Okay, I'll go along with it, as long as you say... Please save me my poor stupid loser elf Viola. And this man did it, but he's clenching his fist. He got blood coming out his eyes and he's just dying, bro. He's just dying. It's like, oh, I hate this so much. I mean, you kind of did it to yourself, my man, by calling out Viola. What did you really expect, man? You're playing with fire here. They actually go into the restaurant, have a little bit of a talk together. I thought she was going to rack up this man's bill like crazy because she did get a drink or I should say more like a dessert thing. It looks like a root beer float, except that the drink was actually green. But she actually didn't, which was a little bit surprising. She only ordered like three or four drinks, I'm pretty sure. Okay, which is still quite a few, but knowing her, I thought she was gonna go full demon mode on this man's wallet. So the first question she asked this man, Glenn, is how long have you guys known each other? We've been friends for a while. He's a customer of mine and we just kind of hit it off. And she just straight up says, so do you know any of Finnell's weaknesses? And he's like, I will give you any information you desire. I'm telling you, bro, he was quick to backstab the man. If it's for you, a cute girl, I got you. I'll just tell you all the man's weaknesses so you can do whatever the heck you want with the dude. It's like, okay, bro. All right, this man is down horrendous for a girlfriend. Even selling out your own friend. He's actually pretty cool with the dude Glenn. It seems like, you know, she doesn't really have any hostility towards him. Definitely Glenn because she was talking about even summoning an elf eating monster. I thought she was actually just joking about that. I thought there's no such thing as an elf eating monster. 
monster. But, um, yeah, we actually do see an elf eating monster later in the episode. Uh, we definitely see it. But as chill as she is with Glenn, she just straight up shot him down immediately. It's like, yeah, you know what? I don't mind being friends with you, but that's it. We're just friends. Nothing more. Don't even try to pursue me. And anyway, my love only is for mama. And I mean, he took it kind of well. He's just like, you for letting me know that so I don't get let on and think that I actually have a chance. Once you know how dedicated she is to her mom, there is no way she is ever getting a boyfriend. At least currently right now. I, I just cannot see Viola actually having a boyfriend anytime soon. And Glenn almost got beat up here. Like, his life was in danger as Viola's going on about how much she loves her mom and how great of a person she is, like she always does. Glenn was like, you know what? I would really like to meet your mom. She seems like a really great person. Fennel was getting so mad. No, you don't go after Alyssa. Heck no, you're not taking her from me. Viola's like, man, you better you better stop right there, bro. You ain't taking my mama from me. They gave him this death stare, bro. Like, whoo, man, you're lucky you got out of there alive. So surprisingly, during their talk, nothing absolutely crazy happened to the boy Fennel, but can't really say that after. The dude started going on to Glenn, like, hey man, if you go out with Viola, that would be an absolute W for me because then hopefully she'll stop being so crazy about her mom and I can hook up with Alyssa, man. This is a win-win for all of us. And that's when Viola actually heard all of that because of course Fennel had to forget his wallet and she actually went to return it, which, you know, her being a good person. Yeah, after she heard all that, I can say definitely that her hatred for Fennel got a little bit stronger there. Viola actually takes Glenn and Fennel to go meet her mom. She was whispering, I will not defy your daughter. Man was absolutely terrified. What she did to Fennel, she summoned that elf eating monster and you can literally see this man in his stomach in his body freaking out i'm just like oh yeah, she wasn't kidding. That thing is uh, actually real. <laughs> Damn, bro. Damn. Mind you, this thing actually does look pretty creepy. So just even being by that thing would definitely uh, freak some people out. That is quite the hideous monster. You know, no offense to it, though. But yeah, she summoned it in a uh, rusty pepperoni fennel. At the very end of the episode, Viola seems like the person who is not so easy to let go of things. Uh, she definitely holds a grudge with fennel, although not really surprised. She actually teleported the man to his playground, it looks like, and wanted to return the favor to Fennel. She was like, all right, well, since you were so kind enough to let me meet one of your friends, why don't I return the favor? Introduce you to one of my friends. And also, maybe you will back off of Alyssa. Guess who it is? The elf eating freaking monster. Oh my God, dude. The man cannot catch a break. Oh my God. She is getting her revenge and absolutely McLovin' it. But when the monster did inevitably eat Fennel again, which I would think would be absolutely horrifying and also disgusting, because it does have some saliva coming out of it, so I'm sure it's not a very uh, fun experience. But I guess Viola even has her own limits because she did say at the very end of the episode that maybe I did go a little too far. Although, I don't really know if this is technically too far when you had your familiar Phoenix literally blast his face off. Off, so although at the same time yeah maybe getting your face blasted off would be preferable to getting eaten alive essentially that's how the episode ended. we definitely got some more fennel and viola action which we absolutely love to see but at the same time man you can't help but to feel bad for fennel a little bit i guess but man has no shot like i said with Alyssa at this moment and on top of that viola ain't having none of it and also he's been in love with her for i forget how long but i think it was over a hundred years or so. That's definitely a long time. Man's got some dedication to her. Although at this point, I think you should just move on and try to find another girl, honestly. But I hope you all did enjoy the video, and if you would, please use code Ilya on all G Fuel orders. I would really appreciate that. And I hope you all have a fantastic day, night, evening, morning, whatever the hell time it is for you. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.